happy, beautiful, and blessed, uh, I was going to say Tuesday, Saturday to everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic start of your weekend, guys. For those that are new, welcome to my channel. I am Mara, so if this is the first time that you are watching, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, so you can get notified whenever I place another uh, video. Please share my videos with your daily friends so that you can help my channel grow. For all my rattle dies, ra ra o dies, rattle rattle dies, ra 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 rattle rattle dies, ra 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 o dies. Okay, I suck. I you know, guys, I really do suck. But anyways, guys, <laughs> happy, beautiful, and blessed Saturdays. Welcome to everyone. Welcome to my new subscribers. I appreciate you so so much. Welcome for those that. Um, that are my ride or dies. Welcome for welcome to everyone. Welcome to my channel. The more the merrier, guys. Um, and and thank you so much for those that share my videos with your dolly friends and um have been you know just sharing the love, sharing the love. So guys, today I always say I'm not gonna make a long video. I'm taking a break right now. That's what that's going with with this video right now because I's got my baby Roxy, my Roxy scope that I just received. Uh, I think it was thurs, uh, Thursday. Yeah, received them Thursday, and um, I gotta make another timesheet uh, for the for the two days that are missing. How many sheets? I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. How many sheets did you get? Um, I got each worth it. What? I got each worth it. Okay. So how many did you get? Um, oh, you got more, right? Yeah, okay, okay. I'll be there in a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, guys. So, anyways, guys. Um, so I have my baby Roxy. Um, I just received them. I think it was Thursday, and I am uh, trying to uh, paint him. Okay, guys. I'm trying to get it together, but I had to take a break, guys, because it's a lot of work. I mean, for me, guys, I'm new at this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, get that right. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do not know what I'm doing. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, with any painting vinyl, painting. I think it's basically with anything that you are, you know, just starting out, right? You, you learn as you grow as you go along. So that's basically what I'm trying to tell you guys. I'm just learning, growing, and every single time I, I, you know, learn a little bit more. So. Mm. I have to get a little zip zip so that being said you know i mean it's like um you know i'm just growing and i i'm excited to get him painted and he's super freaking stinking cute and i love him and i needed a break guys because it was a lot you know i didn't prep i didn't prep him yesterday so i had to prep him this morning and um yeah there i am and this little girl oh my goodness hold on a second oh my goodness she's so freaking cute guys i am so in love with this little baby girl she is painted by uh my beautiful um dolly sister maribel robles shout out to maribel all day every day that's my girl that's my girl my talented girl guys and she got this little outfit that I think I put it on her like on, I, I I believe I picked I believe I bought this outfit on Friday last week and I've been wanting to take her you know you know I, I've been wanting to change her out of this outfit but I, I every single time look at how freaking cute this little outfit is guys I, I found this on marketplace on uh, marketplace uh facebook marketplace somebody in my neighborhood was selling this like just blocks away was selling this it's a whole set um i i showed it in one of the videos and look at the blanket to it guys isn't it pretty the blanket also has the same pattern as see that as the um the butterfly pattern and as soon as i seen it and i got it guys i i was just like this is for her She's so freaking stinking cute. I am so in love with this. This is the this is the apple of my eye right now. She's the one that pulls that's been pulling at my um heartstrings. Like when I go shopping, you know, um 
I, I think of her. Does that happen to you guys? Like, no matter how many babies you have, like, you go shopping and you have one particular baby that, um, that's just pulling at your string. I wonder if that's a glare on my phone or I, if it's, okay, maybe it's the, maybe it's my screen protector. My pre, my pre, my screen protector, blah, 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 is a little bit jacked up. It's been there for like a couple of, uh, like, maybe like a year now. So I have to get another one. So... Today we're gonna finally get her out of this because, oh my gosh, we're gonna put her definitely in this again. And you, as you can see, it's a full set. Like it has like the t-shirt. I think it has two t-shirts. Check out. Where's the box? We're gonna put, I put everything away, guys. I have such a big mess in this house. Um, and um, and not so much in the house, but in the um in my room, guys. Cause when I when I uh, play with my dolls and I dress my dolls up and I I go through my stuff, guys, and it's like shopping like brand new stuff every single time. Cause I shop, right? I'm one of those crazy people that shop and put as you know. I get I get I get my rocks off shopping. I'm a shopaholic, so when I'm out in the stores, I'm excited. I'm like, oh, I gotta get this. This gonna look so pretty on the doll. And then when I came when I come home, right? Because I shouldn't be shopping because I have a way, way, way too much stuff. And then it becomes like a project. Like, I'm like, okay, I got to I gotta put this away. I can't have it out right, laying out, right? So once I put it away, it's away. And you know what they say? Out of sight, out of mind. That's what happens. So then I totally, totally, believe it or not, forget about what the hell I bought. Like, as soon as I come home and I put it away, it's done. That's it. It's a wrap, right? So then um, I have like, it's my house, my apartment. I don't have a house because I have a, a, a real tiny closet apartment, right? I live in a projects as a poor rich chick. I'm a rich poor chick. <laughs> I really am. I know that sounds crazy, but I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I got, I'm low income, right? But Income doesn't never has been like an issue to me as far as like uh, money doesn't make me. I make money, right? And I'm always blessed. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not poor at all. And to me, it's like um, I'm so rich in spirit. I love, I love, love, love myself. I love, 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 love God amongst everything amongst my children, my mother, my my family, my friends, my life, myself. I love my father my creator, my everything, right? And he has favored me all my life. And I, I, I'm so thankful and grateful for every single thing that I have. Um, all this stuff is materialistic stuff. As much as I love her, as much as I love everything, it's all materialistic stuff. You don't take anything with you. And I do enjoy the what I have. I can't say I don't, and I'm very, very blessed. But I'm not attached to stuff, guys. I'm not. Well... I do love my babies and I don't like to sell them, but they're just like now stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's about, to me, it's about, um, you know, loving yourself, loving this experience of being here and being chosen to live on this planet. Like my father, I love him. He has blessed me from birth with a beautiful family, beautiful life, and I feel like I am super rich. Okay, guys? That's where I'm going with that. But anyways, I buy stuff, I put it away, and then guess what happens? I forget about it. And then when I bring down a bin, because I, like I was saying, my I live in the projects, in a small apartment, and it's a super, I'm a rat pack, because I'm a shopaholic. I like stuff, and whatever I like, I get. And... I pack it up, I buy it, I pack it up, and then I forget about it. Because, you know, it's like a, it's like a high, like, you, you, like drugs, right? Shopping is like a drug to me. So I go out, I buy stuff, especially if it's on sale, I get super high. It's like the best crack ever. <laughs> Guys, for real, right? Because I feel like I, I, like, I got, like I got a steal. Like a steal of a deal. Like a win. It was a win-win, right? And I put it away, and then I totally forget about it. Like, I totally forget about it. I forget about it. Right? And then when I go in my closet, then when I go in my closets and in my drawers, you know, and in my baby stuff, it's like stuff, with, stuff that's brand new to me because I forget where I bought it. 
how long I've had it, you know, I forget. And then I'm like, ooh, and then I start taking stuff out. Oh, I, this is for this doll, this is for that doll. And then I start making piles and piles and piles of clothes. And then the next thing you know, I have a mess. You know, I have a mess of clothes. It's crazy. You know, it's crazy. Okay, but this little, uh, um, what is it called? Sleeve, sleeveless um, t-shirt. It's a white. I'm going to put this under shirt on her. All right, this little under uh, onesie. And I'm going to just, um, I'm going to give her this outfit, guys. Okay. This is what she's going to wear. She's going to wear this little romper. It's like a mint. A, it's like a pale mint green. I'm going to say mint green. I don't know. It's not like it's, it's green, like a mint green. And it has like, the, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like little gold. It got gold in it. Can you see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't see it on this side, but it's got gold on it. It has like these little pretty um three two three three little buttons they're like clear little buttons and they're like shaped like a flower and they're like trimmed in gold that's so cute right and then it has like this um it's not embroidery but it has like a lace or something piece on top of it and the front and then it has a little white bow i suck at describing stuff and then it comes with the matching booties and a matching bonnet <clears throat> right and i've had this for maybe a couple of years i'm gonna say like three years i've had this so it's not new and it might be longer than three years but i'm gonna say three years right and i was going through my stuff and i found it and i was like oh that's gonna go on this big girl this is my fat girl she's my fat sleepy girl what she want to do is Sleep like Sleeping Beauty. That is Sleeping Beauty. They're waiting for the man to come give you a kiss and wake you up. Huh, Mama? Tia? You're going to wake up for everybody? She's so freaking adorable. I love... Oh, my goodness. And what does look... What? I'm still waiting to put something on her that I have to change. Take be like, oh, no, that does not look good on her, okay? This might be a little bit bigger, huh? Might be, I don't know. It doesn't have like elastic that hugs the um you know, it's like open like this. It doesn't have like the elastic around the the legs. Like, you know, most rompers do have that gathering. This one doesn't. <coughs> guys, right? I had not been sick for like twenty. I know you guys probably be like, Oh, she's bullshitting, but I'm dead serious, guys. I had not been sick for twenty five years. My daughter's twenty six and the last time I got sick I think I told you this story like 92 times, but I know. The last time I was sick, besides getting COVID and my, my symptoms were totally different. They were not cold um, symptoms. Like I, I didn't have like stuff like congested. I wasn't congested, runny nose, like whatever symptoms you get with a cold. Mine was just fatigue, right? And, and my COVID really did not last long. I was I was kind of cured pretty quick, but I was like scared to go out because I didn't want to like freaking I don't know you know when when COVID was going on I didn't I, we didn't really know much and I didn't want to like go out and get other people sick so I freaking like hibernated for like super long after I was healed or whatever cure I was just like really like I didn't want to go out I didn't want to get nobody sick honestly but anyways right I um. I haven't gotten sick in 25 years, and this year was the whopping year for me, guys. I caught a cold, right? And, um, like, I'm okay now. Well, they went away, and then now I think I'm getting, like, wait, it went away, right? I got sick. Um, and then I... I got better and now I got like a, I'm, I'm, it's not like my chest is congested. My chest is not congested, but I got a cough. I got an annoying cough that won't freaking, it just started, I think on Thursday, guys. Started on Thursday. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like this year is showing up and off, okay? Because 
all right guys and i take so many vitamins one one of these days i want to start the video and show take down all the bottles of vitamins and just show you i take 16 17 vitamins a day guys and i've been doing that for 25 years that that last time that i got sick when my daughter was a year old i was so freaking sick i had took off from work like three four days i couldn't go to work i was super like fever i was congested i was coughing up my liver i mean guys like i was super super sick and after that like my co-worker was always saying like she was like 73 or 74 right she would not stop working she was an italian sh strong a woman like younger than me and i was like super young and she was younger than me okay guys she was strong and vibrant and um she used to always tell me take vitamins take vitamins you gotta take vitamins it's now that you gotta take vitamins and when i got back she was like i keep telling you to take vitamins and her name was celia and i love her so much i loved her i know may she rest in peace um but um i started taking vitamins and she was the one that, that got me hooked on taking vitamins because i always thought like i don't want to take vitamins i don't want to be fat i always had a fat problem right look at my baby so yeah guys that ought to say that I, this year i've gotten like i don't know what's going on but i'm okay i'm okay i'm okay you know but it's like an annoying cough right so look at my little girl guys isn't she the cutest little baby ever i'm looking around because i did make her a lot of pacifiers like my, i monetized them for her, like like that monetized or monified monetize that's when you monetize your damn youtube channel right <laughs> okay guys okay you know what i mean okay guys i may have passies but this one is pink so but guys honestly i don't want to like kind of you know make this video that i said it's going to be a short video i don't want to make it like a long video i just really honestly had this outfit out for her and i didn't want to um i, wa I didn't want to take her out of this outfit so she's out of it now guys okay she's out of it now she's so pretty i am going to make a video with her and her brother that um mara um marabet uh made for me um i love him too guys and she's been just stealing the show lately he is on my bed he sleeps right next to me and i am going to change him maybe later on i'll come and i'll change him i'll make a quick changing video and i'll show you a little bit of how far I've gotten but look at how cute my baby is she's such a princess I love her so freaking much I want another one of Maribeth's baby so I can have three of her love bugs in my collection so I'm gonna I'm gonna be keep an eye on what she's painting a beautiful lolly now oh my gosh that lolly is crazy crazy freaking amazing guys like that complexion that she got that whole vision oops she showed me the vision, a picture of the vision that she has. And if I tell you the down to the damn T, this woman is so freaking amazing. Like, it's, she's so talented. She really is. Um, that, that lolly is absolutely stunning. But anyways, guys, like I said, it was a short video. 18 or 19 minutes in. Um, I just really wanted to change this little bomb, my little bambina. <laughs> I just wanted to change her into this outfit, take a little five-minute break from my, you know, from painting. But I got to go back in there. You know, I got to put on my gloves and go back in. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you very, very much for just your time, guys, because time can never be replaced. Time is super important. I love you guys so much. And remember, keep God first. Say a prayer. Be thankful, be grateful, and be kind to one another. Bye, guys.